Elvis Presley and His Vehicles Part 3 Elvis First Cadillac The Need for a New Car After a show in Arkansas in early March of 1955, Bill Black was out driving the 1951 Lincoln. Suddenly a truck pulled out from a crossroad in front of him. He couldn't stop fast enough and ran the car under the truck. Bill didn't get injured but unfortunately the Lincoln, which Elvis had owned for only three months got totaled. Elvis and his bandmates needed a new car on the spot. After owning two Lincolns Elvis this time went for General Motors' luxury brand, Cadillac. Purchasing his first Cadillac Elvis found a slightly used 1954 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60 Special, most likely on March 7, 1955 in Memphis. It had been driven about 13,000 miles. Elvis became well known over the years for owning and giving away Cadillacs. This however was his first Cadillac. The 1954 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60 Special was the company's top-of-the-line sedan besides the 8-seat limousine. It was equipped with a 331 cubic inch, or 5.4 liter, V8 engine producing 230 horsepower and a 4-speed automatic transmission. The Fleetwood 60 Special was identified by an extra-long wheelbase and the distinctive louvers on its rear fenders. All 1954 Cadillacs had power windows, power seat and power steering as standard equipment. Elvis' First Cadillac Elvis was very proud of his almost new Cadillac. It's not known what color his 1954 Fleetwood was painted originally. By looking at the picture to the right we can determine that the roof and the roof pillars were white while the rest of the body was painted a light color. Elvis had made it known to friends and family, that it had always been his dream to own a pink Cadillac. Pink wasn't an option on Cadillacs at that time so in mid-March 1955, Elvis had the lower body of the car painted pink while keeping the roof its original white color. These two photos were shot on March 17, 1955 outside Dessau Hall in Austin, Texas. The Cadillac is now painted pink. On April 3, 1955 Elvis was on his way home from Houston, Texas in the 1954 Cadillac. Trooper Nolan Strange caught him driving 80 miles per hour on US-171 just outside of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Elvis received a speeding ticket and was carried to Caddo Parish Jail to post a bond of $25. Elvis coming out of a hotel in Big Spring, Texas on April 26, 1955. Elvis and the band had a show there later that day at the city auditorium. The hotel was equipped with air conditioning and so was Elvis 1954 Cadillac, as an option. Between the shows in Hobbs, New Mexico on April 27th and Lubbock, Texas on the 29th, Elvis and his bandmates stayed a couple of nights in Midland, Texas. This photo from April 28, 1955 shows Scotty Moore and June Pritchard leaning against Elvis' pink and white 1954 Cadillac.
Elvis next to his 1954 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60 special. The date is May 22, 1955 in Houston, Texas. They had an afternoon show at Magnolia Gardens and an evening show at Cook's Hoedown Club. On June 5, 1955 Elvis performed in Hope, Arkansas. After the show he brought a girl with him in the Cadillac and set off for the hotel in Texarkana, where he was staying. Elvis was fully occupied with his date and didn't he notice that the emergency brake on the Cadillac was applied. Near Fulton the car started smoking from the rear. Elvis realized that the Cadillac was on fire so he stopped. Once the brake fluid caught on fire, he was unable to stop it. All he could do was open the trunk and throw all the instruments and clothes out. His $500 Revere movie camera though was in the glove box and unfortunately did not make it. Elvis and the Blue Moon Boys drove the Cadillac about 25,000 miles before the accident. Elvis loved the car and was devastated after the loss. Elvis' mother Gladys later recalled how she was awakened that something was wrong that night. 